Welcome back. I am Calculus reporting live from the Inja compound. Behind me, you can see the Inja on the phone with the Chinese embassy in a suspicion that they are collaborating with Han Tony. Reports say the Inja received a package this morning, contents unknown. Inja informed me before this broadcast that the package arrived earlier this morning and he had, and I quote, no f***ing clue what it was. So what was going through your head the moment you heard a knock on the door and saw a large unknown package outside your house? Well, I actually didn't get, you know, I got a phone call. I didn't, I wasn't home at the time. I was at a coffee shop just enjoying my coffee and a trucking company calls me up and they're just like, you know, can you come out of your house right now and, and take the package? We're at the door right now. And I'm kind of just like, you know, f no, I can't be like, I'm at a coffee shop right now. Like, who do you think you are rolling up to my house unannounced like that? The Inja has also agreed to license footage to us, but I will say his prices have gone up since the last video. His former rate was $5,000 per clip, but recently he increased his prices to $10,000 per clip. Our studio has licensed 82 of the 410 clips to show you the story. Let's take a look. Alright, today is a classic case of I order way too much stuff. <laughs> so this one, I don't, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I have my suspicions, but I don't know what's in that box. So we're just gonna open the garage door up and unbox it and see what it actually is. I'm sure it's important. I know it is. You feel like you're on, it's super high. Like you're legitimately as tall as me. Yeah. And I'm 6'3". That's crazy. Let's Anyway guys, so here it is. It was the three wheel bike. I, I couldn't tell what it was. Cause it's 180 pounds. The box was, or the shipment said it was 180 pounds and it was freakishly big. But yeah, it's got a 750 watt Bafang motor and just everything about it just feels pretty dang high quality. It says it's on full battery already, but I'm gonna give it a charge. I don't really have experience with this bike yet, so I'm not even gonna talk about it yet. So I'll give it a charge, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, here we are. Today we're gonna test this thing out. This is an AdMotor M340. It's a like fat tire trike, and it is a front wheel drive. It has a 750 watt Bafang motor, and it's a 16 AH battery pack, which is supposed to do 55 plus miles, is what they say. And it is a 48 volt system, so it's probably just gonna keep up with all the other electric bikes that I have. Probably around 20 miles per hour, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty heavy, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, there's nothing to it but to do it. Now I will say right off the bat, this is definitely not my flavor of vehicle here. This is something I would not daily commute on just because I'm into more sporty stuff. This is kind of, if I were to guess, this is something that maybe older people might ride and they just want to get out for some exercise, but they don't want an actual bike. But I'm definitely still excited to try it out. I'm gonna look so swaggy today riding this thing around. Oh, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. But yeah, it looks, it's a nice looking piece of equipment. I do like is the storage in this thing. E-bikes, other e-bikes do not have that. And so it does make it nice when you wanna just throw a backpack in there. If it is warm, you don't wanna be wearing a backpack. And just anything else you wanna throw in there, got a water bottle. Okay, this thing I can already tell is dripping with swag. Let's turn it on. You guys can see right there, it is on full battery. Now, pedals is probably gonna kick in and it's gonna suck. Ooh, -wee, okay. All right, here we go, here we go. $3,000 trike. Let's see how this thing does. Holy father mucker, goodness gracious. All right, let's turn down pedal assist to, let's just see how, let's just see how pedaling does. It's actually, it's actually not hard to pedal at all. I was expecting this to be a lot harder than a normal bike. Definitely is not. This actually feels pretty good. Let's kick it into a higher gear, I guess. I will say that turning, you do not want to be turning on this thing. This is a straight line, this is a straight line trike right here. You are not going to be dragging knee on this thing. It's not too bad to pedal, I'm going about 10 miles per hour. 
about what I'd expect on a normal bike. I will say it is a little heavier, so of course it's gonna be a little bit harder to pedal, you know, no matter what. It's just a little bit heavier than a bike. Gear five, I gotta work a little bit, but there's a headwind. All right, let's go pedal assist too. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's easy, that's easy. I wanna see what full throttle does. So we'll kick it into a higher gear, gear six, gear seven. Seems like the gears are well suited to the motor. All right, let's give this bad boy some juice. Here we go. Feels pretty stable. I like being able to ride with one hand. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I think I got up to like 22, 21. Okay, now I don't know why it's... Oh, max speed, I see. So holding down, so holding down the up arrow changes it. Okay, so current speed, average speed is about 10. And then max speed is 21, basically 21 miles per hour. Okay, well I'll bring you guys back in just a bit. I'm just gonna start riding this bad boy and let you guys know how it does. All right, let's give you guys a little bit of a riding experience here on some twisties. Definitely was just dragging some knee, but you guys didn't see that. Now I will say, this thing is actually a lot narrower. It's actually a lot narrower than you'd expect. So this small sidewalk, I'm fitting on completely fine. Uh, I will say the front end doesn't feel bad, but the back end is definitely a little clunky whenever I go over uh, like uneven surfaces or even going off these little things here, which I will wait to do. Uh, it's a little clunky, it's a little clunky. It's not too bad though, I mean. Let's see how this does. All right, don't hit me. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, you can tell. I mean, it's a little clunky. You don't want to be cornering too fast on this thing. These little, these little sidewalks here, oh, feather, are, are not too bad. They're not too bad for the turning. I don't feel like I'm gonna flip or anything, but it just, it's an effort to turn this thing. It's definitely for low speeds or, you know, straight lines. Either low speed or straight line. I would say is best suited for this setup here. But I mean, overall, all, you're, all I'm doing basically is straight lines. This is the first curves I've ever even had to take on this thing. They're not too bad, but you wouldn't want to turn at a high speed because you will flip over. Young Swag almost flipped the other day just trying to turn around in the cul-de-sac. <laughs> but dude, I mean, this thing is a serious head turner, you know? Everybody's checking me out. Oh, frick. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's just a status update. I'll catch you guys when I'm at the coffee shop. Cool thing about this thing too is you actually have like a reverse, oh frick. <laughs> you can basically literally go backwards. All right, so we currently made it about nine miles or so. It still says it's completely full topped off battery. So, <laughs> so we'll see how accurate that actually is. It already had a couple miles on it when I started, so it should be like 15 miles or something by the time I get home, and we'll see how depleted the battery is. Dude, there's another three-wheeler right the freak there. Dude, 
I'm not the only one mobbing these streets on a three-wheeler. How about that? All right, and we are back home. We have 16 miles on the odometer, but only about 14 of that was actually me riding it on this charge. So what to say about this thing? Okay, so pros are in a straight line, it's comfortable to ride. I mean, you don't have to wear a backpack. You can throw anything you have on you in that little luggage thing. And, uh, and so you're just cruising. You're cruising in a straight line, no big deal. Getting around places. It felt like it was electronically limited at 21 miles per hour. So there you have it. However fast you can get around town, 21 miles per hour is how fast this will take you pretty comfortably. But the cons about this, oh, another, another pro about this is the brakes stop you so fast, very, very fast. But the downside about that is the brakes are so squeaky I'm sure I could fix it, but they're so squeaky right out of the box that you literally sound like a semi truck pulling up to lights. And uh, I guess people can hear you, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> and depending on who you are, another good thing about this this trike is it's a freaking straight up head turner. <laughs> like, like me, I personally wouldn't want people checking me out on this thing, but <laughs> depending on who you are, this might just be a freaking swaggy piece for you guys to own. There were a lot of people checking it out. I don't know if it was in a good way or uh, kind of like you're a nerd way. <laughs> but again, this is just not my flavor of ice cream, you know what I'm saying? So let me just show you. I'm gonna take it up and down the street a couple times and just show you guys what I mean about the brakes, how fast they stop you. They are incredibly fast stopping brakes but they are so squeaky all in all components and everything it all felt pretty solid this thing is definitely far less maneuverable than a bike and so i personally prefer bikes just how they feel and everything as i age maybe this will be more of my thing but really cool for what it is not my flavor of ice cream so let me set you guys down Check me out. How about that? How about that? If you come up to a light like that and you like have to go that way, you're like, oh, no big deal. I got that. No big deal. How about that? All right, so let me just give you my final thoughts on this thing. I'm just gonna keep saying this. This is not my flavor of ice cream. Uh, you know, it's not something I personally would just jump on and go and ride somewhere on. I would definitely take one of the other 10 e-bikes I have. But for what it is, I can imagine if there's somebody out there who doesn't like riding bikes or has a hard time staying up or something, this might be a great option for you. I know that a lot of like actual good mountain bikes and stuff go for upwards to like $7,000, but still $3,000 is a good chunk of change. And you know, in my mind, it just seems like a lot. But going off of that, I will say it is a very high quality, very well-made bike. I mean, it's a Samsung battery and those batteries definitely seem pretty okay. Uh, they said estimated 55 miles. We are currently sitting at about half battery at 14 miles. I was going full throttle the entire 14 miles. I would not pedal a bike, are you kidding me? That being said, I mean still, you know, I would probably say you'd get about 20 miles or so out of it per charge, just like any other e-bike I've been testing. So for what it is, whoa, 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 whoa trying to flex on me. She rolls up and tries to flex on me. Come on, man. How is work? Busy. Busy. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll grab some coffee and we'll talk about it. I just got to finish up this review here. All right, so there you guys have it. This was me testing this thing. Not my flavor of ice cream personally, but I do I do still enjoy it. And a lot of people were checking it out. Um, it's, it's a cool thing for what it is. But again, me personally, I'd prefer to just take a bike. It's a little bit more sporty, a little bit more fun in my opinion. You have to slow down super, super slow to go around corners on this thing. And that's kind of just not me. But that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it and got to take a look at something that I haven't personally seen online yet is a you know fat tire trike. Uh, so it was super cool testing it out. But all that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.